sacred in your hands. Wine from the earth, your spirit's new Good morning and welcome to St. John the Evangelist Parish this 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please stand and join in singing our opening song, Praise to the Lord. Be sure to follow the words on the screen for this song.
In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to all a special welcome to our guests and especially the Canals family as their daughter Lucille will receive her first Holy Communion on this day. We do so as we hear about the prophets, reminding us that we are to speak and act in the name of God. For the times we have sinned, for the times we have not reflected God's goodness, let us pause to ask forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Together we pray glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. The Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal joy. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. As the Lord spoke to me, 
the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet. And I heard the one who was speaking say to me, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites, rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have revolted against me to this very day. Heart of face and obstinate of heart are they to whom I am sending you. But you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God. And whether they heed or resist, for they are a rebellious house, they shall know that a prophet has been among them. The word of the Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, that I, Paul, might not become too elated because of the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, an angel of Satan, to beat me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I begged the Lord about this, that it might leave me, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. I will rather boast most gladly of my weaknesses, 
in order that the power of Christ may dwell with me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, and Joes, and Judas, and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? They took offense at Jesus. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place, and among his own kin, and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. A little over a week ago, we had a funeral. One of our parishioners, some of you might knew him, Michael Jocks. He was a man who was born in West Dallas, grew up in West Dallas, raised his family in West Dallas, and lived his whole life in West Dallas, baptized as an infant at Holy Assumption, the very first Catholic church in the West Dallas area. But his uh, throughout his life, he wasn't always Catholic. As a, an adult, he and actually his whole family left the Catholic Church. But by the time I arrived here at St. John's 13 years ago, he was already back in the Catholic Church, on fire for the Lord, on fire for the truth, on fire for the Eucharist. Uh, one of our catechists in the high school program just taught with great passion about the truth, about the faith. In the last few years, he was on fire in these years of Eucharistic revival to talk about the Eucharist, Jesus truly present, mind, body, soul, and divinity. And he was on the evangelization committee, and one of the things he did was create that one of the last films we showed at the end of May on the Eucharist, the one that he put together himself. So much was he driven by speaking the truth of Catholicism. But also he was a great man in support of life and pro-life. 
And one of the things he also impressed me is when his children were in the public schools in West Dallas, he would go to all the school board meetings, making sure his voice was heard. He even called up experts in certain fields to uh, really challenge some of the things the school board was doing in West Dallas. And I just thought, wouldn't that be great if all of us parents, if all of us aunts and uncles, if all of us grandparents would invest themselves in the public school board, things would be much different than the craziness that we so often hear about. And we even hear that in the last few weeks in Milwaukee where things have gone so astray. The parents are finally getting involved in the school board, making sure their voice is heard. It takes a disaster to get people involved. And wouldn't it be great if all of us would go to school board meetings wherever our children were and you know, make sure things are going as we desire. As Mike's funeral mass was going on, I was sitting in my chair listening to the scripture readings, looking at the family weeping, and I just thought, here is a man who's truly a prophet, a prophet in our parish, a prophet in our cities, a prophet in our midst, a man who kept, as we sang in the responsorial psalm, keep your eyes fixed on the Lord. And once he came back to the church, this was his whole life, keeping his eyes and ears fixed on God. Our first reading today is from the prophet Ezekiel, a man who was a Hebrew, who was sitting in silence when he heard the whispers of God, invited the Holy Spirit, and he was sent to speak to the rebellious people of the Hebrew people caught in the Babylonian captivity. In the very last line that was spoken, people will hear you. They may respond, they may not respond, but they will know that they have been visited by the Lord, that this man spoke the word of God. All of us are called to be prophets. In part of our baptismal sacrament, you are anointed with the chrism of salvation as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king. So we are all called to be like Mike Jocks, a prophet who speaks the truth, to speak the truth of the gospel, to tr speak the truth of the church, to speak the truth of the early church fathers. As we are called to examine our lives each day, we can ask ourselves, when people see me, when people see ourselves, do they see a prophet in their midst? Or do they see someone who is self-absorbed, talking, living about themselves and for themselves? May we strive in our days as we come to this Eucharist today, always be about the Lord, to listen like Ezekiel, to invite the Holy Spirit like Ezekiel, and to speak the word of God, more God and less about me, and we will die as prophets, holy men and women for the glory of God. So let us rise as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. 
for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who at the Father and the Son is adorned and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. To God who desires to give us the fullness of glory, we pray now for our needs. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Listecki, and the entire church, that we may enter into a deeper relationship with Jesus that will transform us in the way we live, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of, <coughs> excuse me, for the gift of wisdom, that the word of God may enter our hearts bring us to a new awareness of virtues, and guide us in living as children of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater trust, that God will free us from our past mistakes. Strengthen us as we recognize our weaknesses and open us to God's power working within us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For freedom of spirit, that God will free us from all attachments, so that we may respond wholeheartedly to God's invitations and seek first God's reign in our lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may all be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That on this July 4th weekend, may God protect our country from all evil, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of all July 4th and summer travelers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Mason Robert Schuster, who will be baptized this weekend. For Lucille Knotts, who will make her first communion this weekend. And for the members of St. John's Parish, for whom this Mass is offered. And for those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, like the great prophets who have gone before us, may we always reflect the goodness of your Son, Jesus. We ask this in all our prayers through Christ, our risen Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven with Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by his birth, Jesus brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, Jesus has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Heavenly Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with angels and saints, we sing your praises. You are indeed holy, Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which would be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, 
Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. And with your spirit. You may offer those around you a sign of God's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul.
the body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. Amen. Lucille and her parents will come for communion first, and then the congregation may follow.
There will be no anointing of the sick after this Mass. Members of the festival committee will be signing up volunteers in the tent outside of the church front doors. They especially need help with the initial setup on Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. and on Friday, July 12th at 6 p.m. Some games also need captains. Script will be sold after all Masses this weekend. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that having been replenished by such sacred gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend Amen. us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended, go in peace, reflecting the goodness of Christ. Worship him and bless his name. 